In this video, let's learn how to create a context menu. Now, the context menu is the menu that is visible when you right click in your application. So let's see how to create a context menu for the application that we have been working on in the last video. Now, for the context menu, let's use a slightly different approach. So we will be using two submodules of Electron, menu and then menu item. So import that, so const menu item is equal to electron dot menu item. Next, we build the context menu. So within app.ready and after the code that we have written in the previous video, I'm going to say const ctx menu context menu is equal to new menu. And then to this context menu, we are going to append submenus. So within parentheses, new menu item. Now this menu item is going to again take in objects. So we're going to specify a label as the key and then as the value I'm just going to specify hello. All right so we have our context menu and we have added a menu item for that context menu. Next we need to attach this context menu on the right click event in the browser window and for that we make use of web contents property of the browser window. So window dot web contents dot on the event is context dash menu and then we have a function. So this function gets executed. This is going to take two parameters, the event and the params. And we're going to open context menu dot popup is the method is the method that is used to open the context menu and in the browser window so it's win params.x params.y so this gives us the coordinates of where the right mouse button was clicked. Now this web contents gives us access to a lot of events that control the web page and for the right click the event is context menu and that is why we listen to this particular event and then this function of course executes which pops up the context menu. Also let me quickly change this lowercase m to uppercase because lowercase m is not a constructor. So now when we run npm start, let's test if the context menu works. So I'm going to right click and you can see that there is hello. We get our context menu. So of course right now nothing happens on this. So let's add a click handler. So I'm going to close this. And over here, I'm going to add click and then of course a function and within the function, I'm just going to log to the console context menu item clicked. So now let's restart our application. And if I right click, you, you can see that there is the context menu and in the integrated terminal, there is no message. Right click, click on hello. And you can see that context menu item click is logged in the console. So the functionality is very similar to the application menu. I can even add roles as part of our new menu item and that would work. For example, I'm going to append a new item. So context menu dot append new menu item and the role is select all. So when I run this application again, npm start, right click you should see the context menu you can see that there is hello which we created so context menu item click and there is select all as well which when I click selects all the text in our browser window. So you can basically have anything like copy paste and so on as part of your context menu. Well that is how you create a context menu for your application. We make use of menu and menu item submodules and in app.onReady method, we are going to have a context menu, which is a new menu. And to this context menu, we append new menu items. These menu items are basically submenus in your application level. So you can have label, click, roles, and so on. And once you have appended all the menu items on the browser window where you want to have the context menu, you can say window.webcontents.on context menu. Now this is the event that is raised when you right click 
it is going to give you the event as well as the params. Now params.x and params.y gives you the position of your mouse so that the context menu can pop up on that particular mouse position in that particular browser window. All right, that is about menu creation in Electron. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.